You know what I was doing? It was uh, inauguration day yesterday. I don't know what you were doing, but you know what I was doing? I don't. Do I want to know? Yeah, on inauguration day. I was we biding my time. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction dude. It's up, Corbin. I'm Scorch And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, 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 um, but it's Air Vermont. It just came out yesterday. Representing India, Indian, Indian creative, creative arts, arts, tech, and innovation globally. Read this. Okay. Air Rahman has launched. <laughs> Bye, Air Rahman. Um, Air Rahman has launched Future Proof. Is that like Space Force? <laughs> um, an, initi an initiative to represent Indian creativity and innovation on the global stage. Nice. Uniting multifaceted creative icons from across the world, Future Proof is a high impact series designed to elevate and amplify the country's diverse talent across the streams of art, science, and entrepreneurship. Fantastic. So, is this like a competition show? Reality show? No idea. Uh, let's see what we can find out from watching. I love what we read. Yeah. Well, you know, we love A.R. Rahman. A.R. Rahman, if you're watching, come on the channel. You would love. I'm sure you're watching. Yeah, I'm, of course. <laughs> you got nothing better to do with your time. Here we go. Movies influence cultures, and cultures influence movies. There's no denying the power of the visual medium. Our own worlds are inspired and influenced in some way or the other by the fascinating worlds we see on the big screen. From glorious superhero epics to family sagas, from spine-chilling thrillers to tales of innocence, oh, well, the stories we see Harry Potter! are the stories we live. It's then our responsibility to tell the right stories, bring out the true narrative. Yes. For too long, the world mm, has Hugo. heard and seen only mainstream Titanic. stories, stories from certain cultures. Oh yes, Tom Cruise. The perspectives, the narratives, the truths, the triumphs, the glories, so the pains, the their yeah. tribulations. The world honors excellence, and it is true that we there have is. a lot from the brilliant Western mainstream cinema. Mm -hmm. But there is a beauty in every culture yep. and their stories. We often hate what we do not understand. Correct. The world is evolving and it's giving birth every second. Let's embrace that. Yes. Amen. Love what he's saying. The first Indian film to be nominated for the Academy Awards was Mehboob Khan's 1957 classic. Mother India. Yeah. The epic drama was Might followed by nominations Kajma. for Mira Nair's 1988 crime drama, Salam Bombay, yep. and Ashutosh Gaurikar's 2001 Lagan. historical drama, Lagan. All these titles were torchbearers of Indian cinema in their own right. Nominations of qualifying Indian films at the Oscars have been staggered and mostly Hindi language centric. Yes. Yes. representative of the linguistic diversity of Lord. Indian cinema. I mean Continues to be misrepresented in cinema. Yes. Or seen through a narrow Western. Oh, I love this. Yes. We continue to be exoticized, otherized. Oh, exoticized. And many still think that we are a land of snake charmers, elephants, and maharajas. That's a great yes. video. These skewed cinematic narratives have led to a sort of cultural. One of the worst movies ever made. Never saw it. Love to Guru. It's awful. Urgently. The UNESCO Institute of Statistics has recognized India as the largest producer of feature films That's in true. 2015 and 2017. Every year. The, the country Pika. produced 1907 and almost 2,000 feature films, A respectively. Year. The country's offerings have been seen as a prestigious Belly boy. circuit too. 
Jolly Taku. <laughs> Despite producing some of the most stellar films in the world year after year, that's true. Indian cinema is yet to be rightfully recognized that's true. globally, yes. especially at the Academy. That's yes, fact. At his first ever edition of Future Proof, a conversation series spearheaded by the A. R. Rahman Foundation, we identify missing building blocks that form a hurdle for Indian filmmakers on the global pathway. With an aim to discuss, deliberate, and find solutions to represent India on the global stage. From taking a deep dive into processes of submission, selection, and nomination, yes. as well as dissecting the idea of an award-winning film, yes. and the variances in global visual sensibilities that meet a film from the time of its inception till release. And the Oscar goes to A.R. Rahman. 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 Conceived by Grammy and Oscar winning composer A.R. Rahman and curated by Anurag Kashyap. This large roundtable features two time Academy Award winner Nick Vallelonga, the producer and Green scriptwriter yep. of The Green Book, Bernard Hiller, actor, scriptwriter, and acting coach, and some of India's most acclaimed filmmakers. We at Future Proof are a collective of Indian creative professionals concerned about the future of Indian cinema. Mm -hmm. And we invite viewers as well as creators on an ever-evolving ride spanning more than a century of filmmaking excellence. We have our work chopped out for us. We intend to play our part to perfection. Will you? Yep. Oh, fantastic video. So, so I'm so I'm guessing their their goal is similar to our goal. So if you guys would even need any help, <laughs> anything uh, we can do, please contact us because we would love um, to assist in any way possible. Um, yeah, I'm on. But their their whole thing, I'm guessing, is to obviously um, uh, hold up a very amazing. Indian artistry, yes, uh, to to show to the world and right. making sure that excellence is being able to be seen, right? And it makes sense that it's headed by A. Rahman and Anurag Kashyap, right? Um, uh, which are just film lovers that want to expose the world to the greatness that is going on in India, which is what our goal has been, yes, this entire time. Um, so if they can affect how. India, whoever this selection committee is for the Oscars, yes, and can help out with that committee because they clearly need some help. Yep. Uh, not this year. I think they did a good job with uh, Jolly Taku. I think that's a that's a good choice. Um, but yeah, if if this can affect in any way, like what those people are able to see and what they're able to submit, I think that would be an amazing thing that for them to do because. India has films every year that should be going to the Oscars. Yes. Not just in foreign film category, in terms of just the feature film category. As do other countries. Other countries. Yes. Um, um, and, I mean, that's something... I, I was freshly reminded watching that of what I started doing in the fall, and I'm going to get back to doing, because really from November to January, it was very hard to concentrate on a lot of different things other than OSR, connecting with stupid babies through... Uh, Instagram and Twitter and staying connected to the things that we're doing and our interviews and doing afterthoughts and behind the scenes on that, I, I really want to get back into uh, looking at and celebrating because some of the first international films I saw, well, like The Platform, isn't uh, uh, Lady in Portrait of a Lady on Fire? Isn't that being nominated this year for the Oscars? No, not Portrait of a Lady on Fire. I wish. Is it not? No, because sure? it's, it's an older film. Are you sure? Yeah, it's an older film. Huh. Unless they pulled back the qualifications for it, that would be wonderful. But. And right now, what I'm trying to find, and I'm disappointed, uh, I went immediately to the Aramon Foundation, and there's nothing on here about bullet future proof. Uh, I don't see anything about future proof. Uh, I'm looking all over the place for it. And then when you search future proof on Google, uh, you get websites for a beatbox beverage place. I'm really trying to find this so that I can stay connected to it and support it. Uh, um, and I can't imagine they created this video and they don't have a website for it. it does the video itself have a link in the this description? This is the, the one that's on it. It just took you to Air Roman's website? I don't know. Uh, there's a whole thing. Maybe it's not out yet. Maybe this is like a announcement video of it? Okay. Well, for whatever it is and whatever we can do to help uh, spread the word about this thing... Air Roman, if you'd it, like to come on the channel! Uh, well... <laughs> 
on your Akasha. I'd come back on the channel. We would love to talk to you again. And if there's anything Smoke that we can up do, again with us, dude. yeah, if there's <laughs> anything we can do, both in spreading the understanding of it as well as participating in some way with this uh, mm -hmm. and contributing to it in any way, this is. I got emotional watching this. I got, yeah, I got chills, chills. And I, got I, chills too. and I got if if it had gone in other directions, I might have even started to get teary eyed because this is this beats at the heart of what we are as a stupid family. So if this didn't get you excited, then I don't know what's going on inside of you. Yeah, so we'll we'll do uh, some we'll do some research to see. Uh, yeah, one well, absolutely will. What's going on with this? But uh, this is awesome. I hope um, magnificent. I'm hoping it, it it definitely helps change not only what India does with their submissions, yeah, you but know also what? getting the word out with uh, outside of that specific factor, getting yeah. the word out to all the world about what's going on in India. And it, it is criminally underrepresented in the world. Yeah, and. Uh, also, there's some people that we either know directly or through Six Degrees of Separation who are Academy members that we need to be connected with and help in some way, shape, or form, like the newly uh, tapped members from Indian cinema this past year. Yeah. Who, the, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences did a great thing by changing it from foreign film to international and including in the Best Picture category, Parasite. Mm -hmm. It showed hopefully the first signs of what the academy should be about which is global cinema not just american cinema american british cinema, yeah it, it, which it, is what it's which been is in. which is what it's been there's nothing wrong with celebrating it and maybe there should be a separate if you want it you know the baftas are for british cinema okay you can do one that's just for hollywood but if you're going to be the leading edge celebration place and honoring place of cinema we've got to become much broader in our understanding yeah, especially could, with india you could do like the oscars america and then right. the oscars all. Like they do for the industrial, you know, they do a separate, there's a separate ceremony for some of the technical Oscars that you never see in the main one because most people won't watch where they do a technical one and give a lifetime achievement award over there. And it happens the night before the Oscars. They could do that for American cinema yeah. and then make the other night global cinema. Well, this was great. So if, please guys share this, try to get this yeah. uh, in touch with them because we would love not only to talk with them about it but to help out in any way anyway, we can. We can. Um, so let us know. Uh, let them know as well, down below. <laughs>